Hey guys, my name is Maria and welcome to another video. And so since I didn't get many complaints last time, I thought that we could start off with another parrot joke because I think that's just fun. So what do you call a parrot when he can't fly? Ready? Ready? A walkie-talkie. <laughs> okay, Cora was not amused, but I found it pretty funny. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel where I talk all things birds because I'm an obsessed bird person. So today I thought that we would do story time, perfect timing, story time with Quora, AKA how we acquire this pretty girl over here. Right Quora? So I already did this video with my Kai Cass and I thought that it was time that we talk about how we got this beautiful girl Cora over here. So we actually got Cora from a breeder, which in general, I definitely prefer to go through a breeder as opposed to getting a bird at a pet shop or at a bird store, although the bird store that is close to me over here, I really love as well. So we got her from a breeder and you can actually find this breeder on Facebook. Her, one second, her face, Facebook, Page is called Christina's Fluff and Feathers. I will put it in the description down below in case you guys are looking to get another bird for your flock. And it was a really amazing experience. Everything from the beginning toward the, towards the very end was painless and it was a pleasure, a truly a pleasure working with her with Christina and we are really grateful for this beautiful girl that is coming to our life. So first I saw pictures of her on Facebook on Christina's, I think somebody that I bought a bird from reblocked Christina a picture from her page of this little baby. She didn't have all her feathers yet but the pictures were so beautiful and Cora was just so precious and I fell in love and at that point we already had so many birds I mean we already had seven birds she's the last bird we got so when we got her we weren't really looking for a bird we were thinking maybe we'll get one more maybe we won't we weren't in a hurry though so I saw her and I told Mike Mike I want this girl so she's actually severe macaw, uh, which is a smaller breed of macaws, not like the blue and golds, which are the big, the big versions of macaws. So we got her, and I didn't really know much about the kind of macaw that she is. So she's a severe macaw, and they're actually called severe macaws because they have a lot of personality in like a little body, which is true and very accurate when it comes to Cora over here. So when I got her, because I already had experience hand feeding baby birds, I hand fed my uh, cockatoo, my citron cockatoo fin for a long time. The breeder was comfortable letting her come home to us before she was completely weaned off her formula. But even then, the breeder wanted to make sure that we were on the same page in terms of the kind of formula we're feeding her, the amount that we're feeding her, what times we're feeding her. She sent videos, she updated us on how Cora was doing, she sent pictures, videos. It was just very, very amazing experience getting Cora because it was almost like I was able to watch her almost day to day, week to week, growing every single day. And 
when I finally drove to pick her up, which by the way, the breeder, the breeder met me about halfway, so it was only about an hour's drive for me. And I got Cora, she was right away very sweet and she had just started flying and so she was flying around and it was obvious at first of course she was shy with us and she wasn't quite sure who we were yet and she wasn't as familiar with us but really quickly she really started to bond to us and she let us pet her and she was just a joy right away all around so if you guys are thinking if you guys are wondering where to get a bird from a breeder as opposed to a pet store, I would recommend a breeder, preferably one that will even let you FaceTime to see the baby bird that you want because good breeders will do that. They really care about their birds and they want you to have the best and they make sure that all of their birds are health checked and checked for all of the stuff that they need to be checked for, you know, they identified their sex and they keep their pages updated almost every other day, if not more often than that. So if you guys are looking into getting a bird, I would definitely go with a breeder. So as I just mentioned, we got her at about two months old, maybe a little bit older than two months old and I formula fed her twice a day and it was definitely a very great bonding experience although formula feeding is something that you have to get right because any little mistake or if the consistency is off or if you feed them too much or too little very catastrophic things could happen so you have to be sure that you know what you're doing if you want to bring a bird home before they are weaned off of the hand feedings. So I fed Cora twice a day for a while and then we brought that down to once a day and then she was weaned completely. It took, it took a while but definitely she is off the formula now and she loves, loves loves her chops. She probably, out of the my birds, has probably the biggest appetite for chop. Whenever there's chop in her food, she eats almost a whole bowl that I give her and definitely a girl likes to chow down just like her mom. Yeah, I love food. I'm a foodie and I guess so is Cora now. So our severe macaw Cora she makes the cutest baby noises. She actually still does a little bit, although not as often, but she definitely has one of a kind personality. And I actually call her our sweet patch kid, or sour, not sweet, sour patch kid, because she is sour, sweet, gone, just like in the commercial. So actually, she can be nippy sometimes, and she likes to use her beak, and you know, she likes to play. She can be very sweet and cuddly, but she's not definitely not as cuddly as some of my other birds, like our cockatoo fin, our citron cockatoo fin, but you know, she's one of a kind, and she's all her own parrot, and she's definitely a great addition to our family and we can't wait to see what the future holds for her and for us. And we hope that we have many, many amazing years with her because we truly love her and actually macaws are probably one of our favorite types of parrots. They're very up there, or at least mine, along with the cockatoos have a very special place in my heart. So she is definitely a joy and we wouldn't have it any other way. So that is the story of how we got Cora. Definitely not as long of a story as the story of how we got Cass, our Kaik, but still pretty interesting, I thought. So thank you guys for watching my video. 
After I'm done talking, I will put in some baby pictures of Cora because I have really cute ones that the breeder sent to me and they're like professionally taken pictures and there's also some really cute videos. She, this bird likes to lay on her back so sometimes she falls over on her back and she can't get up so there's a few videos of that and just, you know, Put some fun stuff of Cora being Cora, right? Right? Yeah. I know. I know you are so precious. I know I love you. So thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really appreciate everyone's support. This has been a really amazing experience for me, and I've always been so afraid to start a YouTube channel and I'm so glad I did because the support and the community is just amazing and I hope you guys like this video I hope you guys maybe learned something if you did please like comment subscribe I will be forever grateful and we will see you guys in our next video bye